Scout of Silence Photography, and today we're going to go over the Impact Adjustable Leg C Stand. Here you can see we have it right here in front of me. The thing is, is I have it upside down because I'm going to open up the legs. So basically, I'm going to bring this guy around. The third one, is you're going to drop it down just a little bit until it locks into place, and you're going to lock it. It's done. This is a heavy duty stand. It's made by Impact. Uh, this one came from B&H. I really like the Impact brand. Um, it mimics basically any other uh, C stand that's out there. I mean, a C stand is a C stand, but this one here doesn't have a detachable turtle base. This one has a sliding leg turtle base which is used for uneven surfaces. So when you're out on location and you use a C-stand and the ground is uneven, your stand usually looks like this. It doesn't make a difference how many sandbags you put on it. Uh, if the wind picks up, it's gonna take it over because it's just not, it's not stable. So basically that's the reason why they made an adjustable leg C-stand. So basically, uh, let me just grab one of these chairs back here. So if the ground was tilted, you, you don't want your stand looking like this. What's nice about the adjustable leg C stand, and there's different many different manufacturers that make the exact same, pretty much the exact same stand. But you adjust this leg so then this way your riser is parallel with the ground. It doesn't have to be 100%, 90 degrees, straight up and down. It just has to be a lot closer than this. So you can see we got this, this chair. This goes up to about 32 inches. That's about as high as you can raise this. So if you're on a set of steps and you're trying to shoot on a set of steps, this stand works perfect for that because you put those two on one step, this one may be on the second or third step, depending on the rise of that step and how far the step goes out. The most standard is 8 by 11, 8 by 11. So that's usually the standard side of the step. Again, this is an awesome stand for location work. Again, since it can actually uh, adjust to the angle of the ground. Uh, the Downside about it, it is not a remo removable turtle base. So therefore, storing it is a little more difficult than if you had a removable turtle base stand. But again, for the functionality of it, it outweighs having the remo removal, removable turtle base. And again, it goes from an uneven ground right straight to a straight ground. And you just want to make sure you lock that in and then lock that and you're good to go you have your first riser now this one does not have is not spring loaded so if you drop this it's going to take your hand so just remember when i'm lowering a stand i put my hand on it and i slowly slide it down until it gets to the spot but let's uh fully extend this well i don't fully extend it in here so we'll put that one up, and yes, I can fully extend it. So that stand is super high. Normally, you're not going to use the stand to fully extend it like that. Normally, and if you do, I would probably uh, tell you to get a more beefier C stand that is going to handle a lot more than this, because this only rates around 20 pounds of what you can put on there. Maybe it's 29 pounds. I'm not quite sure. All I know is it holds mine here. It does have a baby pin here on the top. If you were going to put an Ellen Chrome or a Godox or Jim Buy on here, you're going to need to buy an adapter because the distance in between the top of the spigot and the bottom of the spigot, the, the span in between here is too long to fit the Godox the Ellen Chrome or 
Jim Buy or some of the off brands because it'll wobble. It, it doesn't connect properly. Now you can actually put um, a Teflon ring around there. You can also put a, a piece of rubber hose on there. You can do a lot of things to keep it from doing that. Just some kind of an adapter or an accessory that you build DIY to put on there. But if you're using them with the arm, you're not gonna have to worry about it because that's why there is a baby pin on here. You can put the arm on here just fine. You can put the knuckles on here just fine. Everything else works, it works just like any other C-stand. So most C-stands all have this baby pin and the distance between the top of the uh, spigot and the bottom of the spigot, the center span is too wide to hold most standard uh, strokes. And that's the reason why the arm always has the uh, quarter inch spigot and the three eighths spigot on the other side. Well, they're five eighths, but the thread is quarter inch and three eighths. Again, this is the Impact Adjustable Leg C Stand. My name is Scott Lachance Photography, and thank you for watching.